CBT is the next topic, cognitive behavioral therapy. Now this is a common type of psychotherapy, fancy words for talk therapy, which helps clients to reframe their thought processes in order to slowly cope with anxiety and stress. Helping to treat many disorders, from major anxiety disorders like PTSD and OCD, to eating disorders like anorexia, bulimia, and even depressive disorders. Now, five CBT strategies that are huge NCLEX tips. I would write these down. Number one is learning about the disorder. This helps clients to be more aware of what's going on. Number two is exposure. The key term here is desensitization to situations and events. These are behavioral strategies. This helps the client to gradually get comfortable with the phobia or even triggers that cause the stress and anxiety. Number three is self-observation. This one is huge. It helps the clients to monitor their own anxiety and recognize the triggers. Number four is relaxation techniques. For example, deep breathing exercises is commonly tested. This helps to build resilience. And lastly, number five is teaching new coping strategies and techniques to reframe thinking. This is known as cognitive restructuring. This helps to change negative thoughts and thinking patterns. Now, some other terms that love to show up on exams is systematic desensitization. As mentioned before, this means gradual exposure to a phobia or traumatic event that will help to desensitize the client to the major stress and anxiety, and at the same time, administer relaxation techniques. So Kaplan mentions, a client states, I only travel by train because I'm terrified of flying. The phobic client is most likely to respond to which intervention? Systematic desensitization. Now another term is cognitive reframing. This was point number five. This helps clients to identify the negative thoughts and replace them with more healthy thinking. So Hesse mentions, a nurse teaches examining negative thoughts and restating them in positive ways. This technique is called cognitive reframing. And a second question, the nurse is teaching cognitive reframing to counteract depression. Which response by the patient indicates effective teaching by the nurse? I have many friends who love me and care for me. Yes, the patient no longer feels isolated and alone. Now, for some other theories that are not related to CBT, guided imagery, which is a mind-body intervention where clients concentrate on mental images to help reduce stress, anxiety, and improve concentration. Nursing school is hard work. SimpleNursing.com makes it simple. We take your classroom lectures and notes to create a handcrafted study plan with specialized videos and visual study guides that highlight only the top-tested need-to-know key points, coupled with thousands of practice questions to test your knowledge, all neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free today. Visit SimpleNursing.com. So ATI mentions, which of the following have been shown to be advantages for using guided imagery? Select all that apply finding relaxation and inner peace, solving complicated problems, and improving concentration. And a second question, which of the following information should the nurse include about guided imagery? It concentrates on descriptive mental pictures to help treat pathological conditions. Now another term is biofeedback. This is just guided imagery as mentioned before, but the key difference is that machines are used to help the mind focus, sort of like virtual reality. So ATI mentions, a nurse is providing education to student nurses about non-pharmacological modalities of pain control. Fancy words for we're treating the pain without drugs. So which best describes biofeedback? Teaching the body to respond differently to stress of other noxious stimuli. So yes, we're just tricking the body to focus on something other than the pain. Now for therapeutic milieu, a big topic on nursing exams. It's defined as a therapeutic community that provides a structured, safe, and secure environment for clients in therapy. It's basically the goal of every behavioral health or psychiatric unit in the clinical setting. Clients are encouraged to freely roam around in the social environment. So Kaplan mentions, 
psychiatric inpatient setting. Which description is best for milieu therapy? Providing a therapeutic, physical, and social environment. And Hesse mentions, the primary goal of milieu therapy for patients diagnosed with personality disorders. Managing the effect of the behavior on the entire group. And ATI mentions, how to establish therapeutic milieu on the unit. Orient new clients to their environment, rights, and responsibilities. Yes, we want to keep them feeling safe and secure. Now, another term is group therapy. This can be used anywhere from alcohol recovery meetings to substance abuse meetings and even inside the hospital setting. The goal of group therapy is to reduce isolation and communicate acceptance. Two big key words. I would write those down. Clients are encouraged to share their feelings that are common and personal, which ultimately affects their behavior. Now, if a problem arises within the group therapy, we always try to allow the group to handle it. Huge key term there. And if there's a silent member, then encourage interaction or just divide the groups into pairs to encourage more talking. Now, if there's an aggressive member, address the anger and separate the client into another room. Now, all the big question banks had a lot to say here. So Kaplan mentions, the nurse understands which is the primary benefit of group therapy. Groups reduce isolation in structured, controlled environments. And the second question, the client with depression joins an ongoing therapy group. Which is the goal of group therapy? To communicate acceptance to the client. And Hesse mentions, one participant of the group interrupts others when they're talking. What is the best action to take in this situation? Allow the group to handle the problem. Yes, the key term there is the group. Allow them to handle this problem. And ATI mentions, group therapy. Which of the following is the primary focus of group therapy? Personal feelings that affect behavior. And lastly, group therapy. Which response should the nurse make to a client's aggressive statements? You seem very upset. Yes. Now, we talk more about that in therapeutic communication, but really one of the biggest things is to address the aggressive statements with the clients. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also, feel free to share the love, share with a classmate, and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.